Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Tristan Davis. The meeting began with a presentation by Chief Robert Fager, awarding the Police Department Employee of the Month to Officer Shelly Yoshida for her outstanding police work and her role as a leader of the Police Explorers Program and as a mentor for the youth within the community. The next presentation was by Council Member Olivia Valentine, showcasing how the Business Expo has grown since its inception. The main purpose of the Expo is to help businesses expand and network with residents. Then Kevin Duran presented Mobike, a bicycle renting business which operates through a mobile app that allows you to reserve and rent bicycles from their pay stations and return to streetside parking locations throughout the city. Mobike hopes to start a pilot program in the city soon. The last presentation was by Interim City Manager and City Engineer Arnold Shadbear, outlining the El Segundo Boulevard Improvement Project and the upcoming construction of the biofiltration system that will replace the old street drains. The construction work will take place on El Segundo Boulevard, from Hawthorne Boulevard to Crenshaw Boulevard. In the resolution portion of the meeting, resolution number 7958 was approved opposing Senate Bill 831. The bill would eliminate requirements such as maximum unit size, height standards and parking for accessory dwelling units. Next resolution number 7959 was approved accepting donations from the Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation for the funding of the Hawthorne Youth T-Ball and Five Pitch Baseball Program at Holly Park and Jim Thorpe Park. The donation will help with the cost of umpires, field maintenance, as well as equipment and jerseys for the players. Resolution number 7960 was approved certifying an agreement between the City of Hawthorne and Hawthorne's Police Officer Association. Due to the immediate need to attract and retain qualified officers, the department is raising the starting salary as well as advancing qualified officers to a higher step. Resolution number 7961 was approved destroying old finance records and other documents that are no longer needed and have been retained for the minimum period of two years. Resolution number 7962 was approved supporting Measure R, the South Bay Highway Program project list, which will improve ramps and interchanges throughout the South Bay. Then resolution number 7963 was approved destroying old records no longer needed from the Hawthorne Police Department that has been kept for the minimum time of five years. Resolution number 7964 was approved announcing a free tax preparation day on Tuesday, March 6th and Saturday, April 14th at the Hawthorne Senior Center as part of the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance VITA program. The VITA program has captured millions of dollars in state and federal tax refunds by helping both senior citizens and low-income families. In the city manager's consent calendar, council approved the fifth progress payment to Zumar Industries for the signage of parking restrictions, directional signs, and other related hardware and accessories. Council also approved the contract between Everett and Associates for the soil contamination cleanup at 12601 Hawthorne Boulevard. The soil contamination was from a dry cleaning business that formerly operated at this location. Council approved the seventh progress payment as well as the third contract year to Martinez Landscape Company for the tree removal, tree planting, and other landscaping services. Council then approved putting out for bid a contract for the improvement project of El Segundo Boulevard. This project consists of reconstruction of the pavement, intersection widening from Crenshaw Boulevard to Hawthorne Boulevard, storm drain improvements, and many other renovations. Council approved the filing of the quarterly investment report for the quarter ending on December 31, 2017. This report indicates cash and investments and the rate of return on investments. The Council also approved the interim city manager's filing of the 2017-18 mid-year budget which reviews the city's financial condition and ongoing budget requirements, the city's budget and financial condition. Council approved the contract with Veronica Tam and Associates, who will provide assistance in implementing the newly adopted housing element and housing laws. In the discussion action items, the council appointed council member Olivia Valentine as delegate and council member Angie Reyes English as alternate to the Southern California Cities Consortium. Thank you for joining us for council recap. Remember, you can watch city council meetings in their entirety by going to www.cityofhawthorne.org forward slash council videos. We'll see you next time.